You have to do something that you've never done to experience something new in your life, uh, to have a new beginning, to live above what you've been living before. So I say just go, just do it, come. <laughs> Hi, my name is Annie. I've been at Gaia Sagrada for nine months and I'm the assistant manager here. I can't even quite remember what brought me to Gaia Sagrada because as a lot of guests that come here, you just arrive here so naturally. Like you hear something in a book, someone says something and then you wake up one morning and you're here and it just feels so natural. So one of my intentions was to meet possible animal spirit guides and then tons of animals showed up in the visions elephants that were dancing and the jaguar always comes and there was otters and deers and all sorts of birds and I just kept on seeing them in my uh, visions I also had a lot of fits of laughter I was just laughing uncontrollably and that felt like a release actually like it was my way of kind of purging or releasing possible accumulation of stress or things that I picked up in my life, I just laughed and laughed and it was a very good ceremony. I was pretty nervous with the San Pedro because I had never done it before and I'm just naturally nervous when I feel a bit out of my comfort zone, out of my comfort zone or when I feel that things are new to me, it's, it, it can be hard for me but I felt very safe here and just supported by the rest of the group and uh, the San Pedro is really slow to feel the effects and sometimes you're not sure whether you're feeling it or not and it kind of comes in waves for me so but I felt very happy and peaceful and connected with nature and I just kept on looking around at the trees and seeing how divine and beautiful and you want to be barefoot because you really want to touch the earth and you just want to be part of of what we don't let ourselves be part of that much when we're walking in the city yeah. yeah, it was a very beautiful uh, experience. Yeah, my most difficult ayahuasca ceremony, I was purging a lot, but at the same time it felt like I, it was very meaningful because I knew what I was releasing the whole time, so I was totally grateful for the experience anyways, but it was difficult on my body, I felt very tired. Parts of me were like, I'm never gonna drink again, and I think a lot of other people have that thought. But in the morning you, you feel so much lighter and you know that all the work that you did is, is, is going to help you in the future for your life. And so in the end you know it's all good and you're thankful, I think, anyways, even if it was a hard ceremony. I'm kind of between twos because I feel that you need to really feel a calling and really be have a, a very strong intention and, and willingness to surrender and drink the medicine so part of me says you really have to be ready but then again I think that maybe you have to kind of push yourself a bit out of your comfort zone and once you're here and you you'll meet the right people then you're gonna feel excited after hearing all the stories of the ayahuasca and all the stories of healing so I think it's kind of like uh, I would tell people to just go for it you have to do something that you've never done to experience something new in your life uh, to have a new beginning to live above what you've been living before so I say just go just do it come <laughs> I think it's very beautiful to see the ancient traditions that the shaman bring to the ceremony but there's still a modern twist to it with uh, a lot of foreigners and people from all over the world that are here it, you can't help but feel that energy in the ceremony and everyone's allowed to step up and share their music or dancing even sometimes may happen during the ceremonies. I think it's very important as well to have that setting that's a bit more um, enclosed where people can stay together in a safe, secure area and just yeah, share the whole experience together all around the fire. I think fire has always been important for all peoples in all walks of life even like that was the heart of the kitchen you know forever and then it was always the campfire as the middle of everything so to have that as a middle to help you ground or come back to yourself when you feel that you're going a bit farther than you want I think and the music does the same thing like a little anchor that you can hang on to and it can help you step up the level of the medicine but also bring it down in some instances and to have people to remind you just to breathe and yeah, the whole ceremony is an experience in itself even if you weren't taking the medicine. What's very special about drinking the medicine here at Gaia Sagrada is that you're 
surrounded by 55 acres of beautiful nature so you can go for big walks to journal and just meditate and think about what you've learned in the ceremonies and to have that beautiful space to do that and still feel connected is a gift and also I like that the people that you're doing the ceremonies with the next day you actually live with them and you get to interact and chat with them about the experiences which I think is a, a whole therapy in itself to be able to chat about it the next day and sometimes you even learn things out of ceremonies but then it comes and ties up with what you experience in the ceremony so I think that's a very beautiful thing. <laughs> okay my favorite job at Gaia Sagrada is greeting the guests when they arrive we all go and hug them and help them up to the room and just help them get some food and get them settled here because I feel that's when they bring in all this new energy and they have all these new questions and it's just really nice to be able to help them right away and greet them in such a beautiful way so that they feel at home right away. Some of the jobs that you do here as a volunteer have a lot to do with hospitality, that's the way that I see it and working in the service industry for so long before I got here I realized that it really ties into each other because you you're really always in service and wanting to help the people make them feel comfortable. They're our guests, so we're constantly, that's our priority. But apart from helping the guests, we do a lot of basic things just to keep the areas clean. So we do a little bit of cleaning, a lot of cooking, and we put a lot of love in our cooking. And we also uh, organize workshops, activities, we do hikes, sometimes yoga. If, if you end up helping the guests in the ceremonies, that's everyone's favorite because you're actually in the ceremonies with the music, helping the guests when they're going through a lot. So they often say that we're little angels, so that makes you feel very valuable here. But I also love being in the kitchen because I've always really been interested in food and cooking real foods like fruits and vegetables and healthy stuff to help people be healthy and nutritious. So that's one of my favorite things as well, definitely. You know, because when you work in real life, like you're doing it for the money or you're doing it to write down how many hours you worked that week, but here it's not like that. Like you're really, like I remembered to do things for me and for the creator and for the good of the universe, you know? And I think that's a really beautiful teaching. Like for me, it was one of my greatest teachings here, I think. So every morning to remember your integrity and why you're working. Sometimes you want to prove yourself or you want to, people to love you at your job. I don't know, but here it's not that. It's like really, wake up every morning because you know that what you're doing is in alignment with the greater good, you know what I mean? I feel that that's super important in general to come of a place of love and wonder like, am I responding with love or am I responding because I'm tired or angry or this and that and to remember that to always come back to a, and I think that was just gonna help in my future relationships and jobs because I'm not gonna take things personal. I'm just gonna be, oh, that person might be having a bad day. And sometimes when I'm having a bad day to acknowledge that and just try to remember in my head what would love do, you know? It's gonna be really difficult and sad for me to leave Gaia Sagrada after almost a whole year here. But at the same time, I'm very excited to go and apply and apply everything I've learned and share with the world everything that I've learned here. And I'm hoping also to meet up with all the beautiful people that I met while I was here. So I need to go out in the world to actually do that. When you're in this bubble, you just feel so safe and I hope the world is ready for me. <laughs>